Hello, my name is Daniel Davis and I'm here to help you survive your commute. I don't know about you guys, but I've had a hellish commute for the last few years and it uh, drives me insane. So I'm here to help you with uh, the nine greatest tips in the world to help you survive your commute. Number one, drive early. You know, some of you might get up at five, six, seven o'clock, nine o'clock in the morning to start your commute. That's way, way too late. You need to start way earlier. <laughs> Me, I start in February. You start in February and you're going to beat all those people that get up at 7, 8, or 9 o'clock in the morning. You're going to kick their butt. And that's really the key is to get on the road before all those other fools do. Next, next, is to uh, combine your trips. Didn't I say that already? No. Many of, you, uh, many of you probably go to the grocery store, you go to work, you might take a vacation. You want to combine these trips into one trip. If you take just one trip per year, you're going to save yourself months, months of travel. So you might be done with your commute by like July. And I think that's really a great key. So combine your trips and you're going to be a lot happier. Next up is to be tricky. You know, if you're predictable, you're a target. You're going to get crashed into by psychotic clown drivers. You don't want that. You want to, you want to, you know, mix things up. You want to be crazy. I can't remember what else I was going to say, but you do want to carpool with the wizard monkey, though. <laughs> wizard monkeys have a lot of power. They have magic missile. So you need all these things to, uh, to commute well. So wizard monkeys, carpool with them. Blend in. So this is where I was going with that other one. You want to blend in. You don't want to be seen. You want to just be invisible. And nature has a way to become invisible. It's called fish swarms. You might have heard of these. They're like all these fish travel together in a swarm or fish swarm or swarm. You want to travel together in a fish swarm like this. They, the sharks can't get you if they can't see you. Be invisible with a swarm. Next up is law yourself. Now you might think that means self-control but not at all. I'm not about self-control. <laughs> what it means is you're going to want to make a ticket like a speeding ticket, make it yourself ahead of time. Keep it handy. When you get pulled over, pull that out of your glove box, hand it with confidence to the policeman, and say, do I get off this time? <laughs> it just might work. It worked for me. Uh, drive defensively. Now, driving defensively, you know, to some people that means, you know, leave a lot of space, be aware. But what I think about it is I think it means rivets, huge spikes, and cast iron armor. <laughs> but even more than that, I think it means something else. I think you need to wear, wear a helmet. <laughs> if you wear a helmet during your commute, you're 86% more powerful. <laughs> and it worked for me, it'll work for you. So wear a helmet. Go aggro. You know, an aggressive, psychotic driver is scary. You want to be, you want to punch your car, maybe bite your windshield, do weird stuff. But another thing that's really aggressive is casting spells. So go Hogwarts on them, cast some spells, and you're going to be able to get through your commute a lot smoother every time. And you know, the last thing you want to be is a clown driver. So don't be a clown driver. You know clown drivers. These are the guys that have red noses, white makeup. They can fly. They attack children. Don't be a clown driver. They're all over Phoenix. In fact, 82% of people on the I-17 are clown drivers. <laughs> you do not want to be one of these people. So just play it safe. Don't wear the red nose. And uh, lastly, the uh, most important point here is to drive good. So drive good means to uh, awe people with your kindness in the car. So instead of being an a-hole that's like, like on the butt of another car, you might want to let people merge. Be kind in your car, and you're, you're going to confuse other people. <laughs> but that's going to be good. That's going to make it better for all of us that spend half our life in the car. So drive good. And uh, that pretty much wraps it up for me, but uh, I'm Daniel Davis, I do a webcomic about traffic, and uh, you guys are welcome to stop by at steamcrow.com. <laughs>